Good evening, YouTube. Uh, this tonight's just a rant. Um, it's based on Ephesians 4, uh, 11, but I want you guys to read the whole scripture, the whole chapter. If you're going to read Ephesians, you better read the whole chapter of it so that, it under, that you understand what I'm ranting about. Okay, Paul wrote this to the, uh, to the Ephesians. So a lot of people don't understand this. There is one body, uh, verse 4, I love this one. There is one body, one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Uh, unto everyone is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. But I want to focus on the two that scriptures here that need to be marked right now the why i had this this catholic and you know i love it when people try to twist priest pastor priest is used as a loose term for intercessor that christ gave the pastor the right to become priest or intercessor in his absence which is a total lie and a falsity he did not do that he's not absent he's within us so therefore, he's not absent, so we cannot be intercessors because he's the only intercessor. His blood is what covers us. So let's go over here to 11. He tried to use this scripture against me, and it backfired on him. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. And you got to read 12. For the perfecting of the saints... 
for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lay in wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up unto him all things, which is the head, even Christ. Who's the head? Christ. From whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth according to the effectual working in the measure of every part making increase of the body under the edifying of love in itself in itself it's yeah, itself in love excuse me there this is this i say therefore and testify in the lord that you henceforth walk not as the other gentiles walk as other gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind having the understanding darkened being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart who being past feeling have given themselves unto, un, over unto lasciviousness, lasciviousness, excuse me, to work all uncleanness with greediness. But you have not so learned Christ. If so be that you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus, <clears throat> that you put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in, your spirit, in the spirit of your mind. Oh, pardon me. Oh. And that you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speaking, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one of another. Be you angry and sin not, lest the sun go down upon your wrath. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more but rather let him labor working with his hands the thing which is good that he may have give to give to him that needeth let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth but that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers and grieve not the holy spirit whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be you kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. Okay, I am so sick of the, the deceit. And I love it because Paul right right here he called them children. He called them children. And, you know, when you... When he appointed some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be evangelists, some pastors and teachers. You know, pastor is a teacher. That's the kind of a contradictory, but the Bible's not contradicting itself. But a pastor is the great teacher, and then the Sunday school teachers are sub-pastors under them or subordinates. Okay, that is what Paul's mentioning by that. And people keep trying to misinterpret that pastor and priest mean the same thing. According to the Catholics, priest is the grand intercessor, or Christ, in, in Christ's absence, that's their job to forgive you of your sins. Man cannot forgive you of your sins. Man cannot wash your sins clean. Man's blood wasn't shed, but Jesus' blood. If we can't get that right, then we can't get nothing right. <clears throat> okay? The deceit, the false prophets, you know, the false evangelists, the false teachers. And you know, I am so blown away by the stupidity of man to think an educated uh, a God educated man not a book educated but a God educated man and a God gifted man would fall into the trap into a debate with the devil it ain't gonna happen I block fools I called you what you are a fool to even try to attempt to attack a man of God and then try to Try to twist what he says into what benefits your false teaching and your false misleading lies. It's not going to happen. I shake the dust of the feet of my off. I shake the dust off my feet in victory because I see the house is unworthy of my peace. And I'm not going to keep debating God's truth. I already said mine and I proved my point, and you tried to twist it. Enough of that. You know. <clears throat> he says we can be angry. God says we can be angry, but don't sin in that anger. 
But don't also, don't allow them to mislead you into, and lead you down the path of destruction. If you're going to be a fool, I'm going to call you out. And then I'm going to shake the dust from my feet and I'm going to walk away because I know you refuse to hear the truth. I plant the seed, God does the watering, Jesus reaps the harvest. That's been one of my favorite sayings. And I'm just honestly just so disgusted by these foolish people who think that they can argue the point of God with people. I mean, poor Creation 78, she's been going through it. She's being attacked. Wake of 777, just to name a couple. Myself, Pastor George M. We've all been hit it by the demons. They want to attack the truth of God. They want to attack people that know the word. Have the brothers standing on the ramparts with them crying, you come out of Babylon. And then they keep attacking us. And you know, I tell you fools, go back to hell from whence you come. Because I'm done with you. I'm not going to sit there and debate God's word. It's undebatable. It's point blank truth. And there is no falsehoods and no contradictions. You might stump me once in a while. You, make my, you might make a good old pastor study. Because he had not read it in a while. But you know, once I read it, I understand it again. And I'm like, aha moments. But it's only because of God's anointing. The Holy Spirit has anointed me with discernment. But you better understand what discernment means before you start, start quoting it. Because if you don't understand what discernment means, then you're going to lead people in the ditch. You think after four weeks that you've been a Christian, you know the Word of God? You're wrong. You don't know the Word of God. You have not took the time to study and read the Word of God and understand that God wants us to come from this Word and this Word alone. Not from a, a separate book. No, he says, these are my words. He's revealed it unto us that this is an infallible document. Right here, this Bible is an infallible document. And just to name a few that you keep trying to mislead people, you know who you are. I'm not going to sit here and put your names out there and and stoop to your level and try to blaspheme God by doing so. Okay? And God shows me this in second, uh, the second epistle of Paul to the, the apostle to the Thessalonians chapter 2. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and by our gathering together unto him, that you be not soon shaken in mind or be troubled neither by spirit nor by word nor by letter as from us as that the day of Christ is at hand let man no let no man deceive you by any means for that day shall not come except there be there come a falling away first and that man of sin be revealed the son of perdition who opposes and exalteth himself above all that is called god or that is worshiped so that he has that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is, a, he is God. Remember you not that, when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know that what withholdeth, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity does all, all for that. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming uh, false messiahs we've had quite a few assumed false messiahs the, the, the deceiver is not here just yet his puppets his demons his minions have wait till the false messiah comes there's going to be a falling away because of that false messiah but now we're going to get back on the false prophets. You know who you are. And I hope you take the stain of sin off of yourself and get truly right with God before you keep deceiving people and keep misinterpreting the word of God because it's going to destroy you. And that day, it's going to destroy you worse. So, may the Lord have the rich blessing on the word we received in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm just, you know, I'm tired of you guys. I'm tired of you fools. Trying to destroy the word of God. 
You're like little, you're like the um, American trying to play with a pair of chopsticks. You ain't getting nowhere unless you've got the skills to do it. And it's funny, people, I haven't took the time to learn how to use them. I never took a class on how to use chopsticks. I never read the instructions. But I can still grab things with them. It's kind of funny watching a white guy try to do it. You see what just happened. But, but just you guys got to quit being so misled by the false teachers online. There's just uh, thousands of them, brothers and sisters. There's thousands of these false teachers. And, you know, you got to ask God for discernment because you're not going to see the truth until it's too late otherwise. Peace. God bless you. Always in Jesus' name. Have a great evening.